of Jesus' disciples asked him once, Lord, we want you to do for us whatever we ask. That's, 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 that's pretty common theology today, too. Yeah. I asked you, do it. <laughs> I pray, I tithe, I go to church, I help people with beans, I give people, I, hey, I asked you, do it. Scripture says, this is, this is Mark chapter 10. Scripture says that, that uh, Jesus kicked him in the face. No. You know what Jesus said? He said, what do you want? He said, we see this coming. We've been listening to you. We're kind of getting it now. You really are the Messiah. The Romans are going to bow to you. Okay. When that happens, we want the two top seats. Oh, that's really it. Right hand. When you study the culture, it's true. Yeah, right. Two tops. We want the two top seats. Right hand man, left hand man. When you come into your kingdom, you want to be sitting on your right hand and your left. Here's what Jesus said. Here's what Jesus' response was. Guess this. Talking about destiny. Know exactly where we are in Christ. And it's a battle. It's a battle. It's a significance battle. If I serve you, where will I sit? If I do what you want me to do, who will I be over? Not who will I be under, who will I be over? I don't mind being under you, Jesus. But if I'm under you, I want to be over everybody else. Destiny battles. See, so we don't, we don't, we don't really want to, we don't want to come and find out that all God has in mind for us is, Paul says, I'm a huperites, Greek term. I'm an under oarsman. See the big ship? Go down in the, hull of the, in the belly of the ship. 20 rows of guys, three or four on each side. Paul says, 17th row, second man in. But you're the apostle Paul. No, I'm an under oarsman. Here's what Jesus said. Jesus said, can you... Are you able, are you able to drink the cup that I must drink, which is symbolic of taking in the whole lot or whatever is involved in one's destiny, good, bad, and the other, okay? And are you able, not willing, 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 are you able to suffer the baptism or the immersion that I will go through in suffering? They said, they said, Great conversation. This is prayer life, man. Love it. There's nothing like having a prayer life where God ain't talking back to you. Where you're doing all the talking. We got a lot, a lot of people that have prayer lives like that. They go in and tell God all about it and how it looks and how it ought to be and so forth. And you ever sit down and have a conversation with somebody and you can't get a word in? Yeah. Great, great example of, a, of prayer. Jesus. Give us what we want. What do you want? Can you do this? So they respond to what Jesus tells them. They said to Jesus, we're able. Now hang with me. Jesus said, and you will. You will drink the cup like I will drink. You will suffer the baptism like I will suffer. But where you sit, as this is finally wrapped up, is not for me to give, but my Father. I cannot promise you something that Father God may have already prepared for somebody else. Here's where our theology messes us up. I worked for it. I suffered for it. I deserve it. It's mine. How many people have backslidden, waned, don't want to talk to God tomorrow morning and wake up as 30 years later because all that they went through should have entitled them in their mind 
to a certain response from God, and God did not give it to them. And they're done. 